It isn't until we see something with our own eyes that we feel the full force of it. And it isn't until we share that experience with others that it becomes a part of us. For those who perform, there is nothing more satisfying than taking their audience on a trip to realize yet unexplored realities. And so it is with the magician. Today, we are learning one of the most famous coin tricks in existence, the matrix. The magician sits at a table with four coins laid out. He shows all sides of the coins. And after doing so, he then places the coins at the four corners of the mat. As soon as he is done doing so, he covers them with a simple gesture. One coin travels across. Again, he moves his hands and another coin again travels across. And finally, the last coin vanishes completely and jumps across to join the others. He then takes the coins and places them again at the corners. He reaches off to the side, grabbing two cards, two kings of hearts. He places them on top of the coins, one at a time. No sooner is he done doing so, he takes one of the coins, places it underneath the mat, and with a flick, it jumps and travels underneath the card. He covers them up, takes another coin, places it underneath the table. With a flick, it jumps. Finally, after showing all the coins are real again, he covers them, and without doing anything, he gestures, and the coin travels from the last card over without anything being seen. The magician now explains that it is cool enough to do it with coins, but they've been covered by his hands, they haven't been in plain sight, so now he wants to perform the same thing, but this time with the cards. He adds two more cards into the mix. These cards are the two black kings, the king of clubs and the king of spades. He places the king of clubs and spades on top of the two red cards. He starts by taking just the clubs and laying it aside. He then takes the spades and lays it aside as well. This leaves him with the two kings of hearts. After giving it a simple twist and a wave, one of the kings has swapped places. No, really, you see, the spades has jumped here. And so has the clubs. And if the spades and clubs are here, then these are the red kings. The magician now exits the stage. What you just saw was the variation of my own coin matrix. If you like what I just showed you and you're excited about learning this, then be sure to smash that like button and of course subscribe while you're at it. So I should tell you, the last trick with the cards will not be taught here. If you'd like to support me, you can of course buy that trick from me. It's one of my own that I sell on my website. And it is very fun, exciting. You can add to this coin matrix as well. It's for a very low price, okay? So keep that in mind. Um, let's get into how this trick is done, or I should say the matrix is done. So the first matrix is a classic matrix. There is an extra coin. These are real coins. And I just use the simple sleight of a shuttle pass. But this is a different variation than most people are used to. It's a toss shuttle pass. So I have one coin here in palm already in the beginning. And then I just uh, finger palm one of these coins as I throw them to the other hand. And then that creates the illusion that there are only four coins that I'm using and that my hands are carrying no other coins, but in reality I have an extra coin. So I do this, this creates the illusion of an extra coin. And then uh, I toss these coins on the table and let that other coin fall. I do it very quickly so it creates a very solid illusion. Boom, boom. Now I place the coins at the four corners. This coin will still be held in classic palm. If you don't know how to do classic palm, it is basically where you hold the coin here in your hand. Uh, if this is too difficult, I will teach another variation of this uh, later if this is too difficult for you, but let's just hop into what goes on here. So now what happens is I, it's just a sequence of the hands. I move this hand over here while I have it in classic palm. I keep these hands kind of tense like this so it looks natural. And I come up and I set this part of this hand on this coin as I cover it, and then I just drop this coin as I move the hand back 
and the thumb out. So thumbs out like this. It creates the illusion the first coin has vanished and jumps there. I then continue to slide that coin by using this part of my hand over here as I move this hand back and cover this coin. And then I just pull back and I do the same thing. I move this coin up like this and whoo, back. But I do something a little different. I move my hands down like this and then up again. And the reason why is because I'm readjusting this coin. I actually pick my hand off of it, move my hand forward, and catch the coin again with this part of my hand here so that when I come back and I lift my hand up, the coin falls off into my lap, all right? But while leaving my hand look, looking empty, it kind of looks like I can show my hands without too much suspicion. Now from here, all that's going to happen is you place the coins back into their place. Now there are other matrix where you can, you can of course make the coins go back through magic, right? They all go back to their place. I'm not teaching that here. But what happens at this point is you're going to take out two cards. So you're going to want to have the two kings of hearts if you want to use the other trick that I provide at the end because this goes well with that trick. You can use whatever your cards you want though if you're not going to do the card trick at the end. So here's what happens. Uh, you're going to do a fun little move where you clip the coin between this pinky finger and the thumb. So as you cover these cards over, you're going to start by showing the cards in your hand like this. So you put them together and you show it towards them. And then as soon as your hand turns over, you move this pinky towards the thumb. But you don't touch them. You get close, close enough that you can grab this coin because you're going to hold it right there like that. As soon as you do, you just pull with the other hand one of the cards off while holding that coin here, move it over here, and then drop that card. Now it covers both coins because you've dropped the coin underneath this card as you set it down. You obviously come over here and grab this coin. Now as you come underneath, what's going to happen is you're just going to set the coin into this hand or at the fingertips, either way. Now as soon as you drop it onto this hand, like this, you're going to do this underneath uh, the edge of this uh, mat, right? So it comes underneath and you leave it there and you just do it in one solid motion. So you come through and then you act like you flick underneath. And then this card now has that extra coin. Now you can come over with this hand and do it, which I, th I do recommend. Or you can come over, if you like, with this hand and do it. Just make sure that they can see that the coins are there before you like put your hand underneath it. So you don't think you're leaving it there. Just keep that in mind. Do it like that. Then you replace it over the top. You come back with this one. You put it underneath. Do the same thing that you did before. Flick. It goes there like that. And then finally, you point to the last one. Now, you're going to do a fun little move here, okay? It looks like this, right? It looks like nothing has happened. You flip the coins over with a card, but reality, you've swapped one coin on one side of the card, okay? So here it is. Like this, the coin's here on your hand. And you, what happens is it's sitting on these fingers so that when you put, pick the card up and you set it in your hand like this, when you come along the edge here, and you flip this over, you're gonna drop this coin on the other side as you flip the card over. So like that, and you keep this coin here. This allows you to turn this card over and it just looks cleaner. It's a little bit of a difficult move. You don't have to do it if you don't want to, but I thought I need to include it in here as well. All right, now the last coin is already over here, right? Because we've been doing the one ahead principle. You may not be familiar with that, but the one ahead principle just means that they think that there's only one coin here in the beginning, but there's always one extra coin they don't know about. So what happens is you just pretend at this point to move the coin from here over, right? Just pretend to do it. Of course, it's already there. And then you just reveal that it is gone, reveal here. And voila, that is the two coin matrices that go well together. I, I like to perform them together because they kind of do well. Let's talk about the rest of the trick. Now the rest of this trick with the two um, kings uh, something that I kind of came up with, well, all of this is kind of variations that I came up with on classic tricks. This one wasn't so much a classic trick I read anywhere. It was just something I came up with based on some principles and ideas I knew. And so I'm selling it on my website. You can learn it. Yeah, it requires a gimmick. Well, it doesn't require a gimmick. You can do it without a gimmick or you can do it with a gimmick in either case. Um, either way, it's super cool and useful. You don't need the gimmick. You might even be able to make the gimmick yourself. Honestly, if you really wanted to, it would be really hard to do, but it is possible if you have the right materials. So either case, if you decide to get it, I talk about that on my website. You can click the link down below. Uh, it helps me out. So if you wanna support this channel, go ahead and do that. Now, if you like what I do here, then be sure to smash that like button. And of course, subscribe for more great content like this. 
Now let's talk about who won this last week's giveaway because we just had a giveaway this last week and we'll be doing another one this next week, but not this week. So keep that in mind. All right, now before I announce the winner, let's talk about a few other things and resources that I have down below. Now obviously, there is the link to the magic trick that you can of course buy if you wanna support me, and of course, learn the awesome magic trick as well. Either case, you do, it's not terribly expensive, it's there if you like it. Also, there's a bunch of other cool stuff down below. You want, there's some of them are to some of my other videos, some of them are the gear I use, such as my camera gear, my mat, such as, well, the other stuff that I use in my magic. So there's a lot of cool stuff down below. Just check it out, take a look, see if any of it piques your interest. Maybe not, that's okay. So, who won? Well, there was only a few people who actually commented. Now there were some new subscribers, I checked it out, but I did say at the end of this last video that people had to like, subscribe, and comment. I specifically said that I said that for many of my other videos. So those were the people who were included there was only three people who actually commented this time, despite the fact that this video got so many uh, views. That may be because uh, I didn't say it as early on, or I wasn't super specific about it early on. So next time I'll try to say it earlier in the video when I do my next uh, giveaway. But all right, uh, before you go, um, let's announce who it is. It is Keith Valentine. If you're watching this, you have won the giveaway. Now. All you have to do, of course, is contact me through my Facebook or my Instagram. So all you have to do, of course, is message me and I will respond and we'll figure out how I can send it to you, uh, your, what address or whatever you need, all right? So just contact me, I'll take care of it. So that's how you win. Uh, now you guys see as well, it is actually happening. I'll also do a video of me taking and sending it off when I do. And that's how this works. All right, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And I'll see you again soon with more magic content.